Hello and welcome, it's me, Fresh and Wolfie from Wolfie Gaming, and today we're going to be showing Discord SRV plugin and how to install it. So what does this plugin allow you to do? Well, it allows the Minecraft chat to interact with the Discord uh, chat, whether it be in multiple channels or different, and with the console as well, of your server. So you can have people around, around wherever they are, on their phone, chatting to people in-game as if they were on their computers playing Minecraft with them. For example, we can type in, hey, and on Discord, which I can show you here, it will, it, a bot will say, hey, and if we type in, hey, or hello, then on Minecraft, a Discord bot will say, hello, right here. So, how do we install this plugin? Well, first of all, you want to create a Discord uh, application for using this using the Discord SRV uh, plugin website that I will link. So first of all you want to go create a new application using this link, add a new application, call it whatever, whatever your bot you want your bot to call, so I don't know, Discord showcase, add a description if you want to, add an app, app icon if you really want to, um, and then you would have created an app. And then you will now need to create a bot user, which will uh, be able to type into the cha channels. So yes, you want to create a bot user, and then you want to n note down the bot IDs and these for later use. We now want to create a server. So when you go onto your Discord, you will want to press add, create a server, the add being just below where all your servers are, and your server's name, so we could use one of these test test two sure and then that will create that and I can see look for the two so once we've created that we will now want to assign the bot to the server by by going to this link by taking this link right here putting it into Google but before you press enter and send it you will need to re replace the client ID from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, uh, to your is this the right one? This one. <laughs> to your client ID here. Let's just delete that. Um so this client ID here we want to replace here. And then you can press enter and send that away. This will send you to an authorization website in which you can select your server. This is our two here. And then you can authorize this. And now this bot will have this will authorize a bot to be able to use your channels. But well, there's one step further. We need to give the bot a role. So we need to do server settings, roles, server settings just being on this drop down here. Create a new role by pressing the add, call it bot uh, announcer. Uh, you can give it a fancy colour, say blue, and we needed to give it a managed server and a managed channels uh, permissions, which will allow it to manage the server and the channels. You especially need the managed channels. And once you've done that, once you created your role, you need to go back to server settings, go to members, and find your bot, and press the add, and give him the role of whatever you call it. So for me, bot announcer. And that will give him the permissions to type in the chat and and send messages over from within the chat. So now we will go on towards the um, actual installation of the plugin, as now most of the Discord's um, area is set up. So first of all, you want to install the um, Discord SRV plugin. So first, you want to go back to this website. You want to download it using this slightly dodgy looking link, but it's fine. Uh, download again for our build 8.3 currently and then we want to keep this and then in your server files whether it, uh, for me it's Spigger, I'm using a Spigger server go to your plugins simply drop in your plugin these are the other ones I've used and then you will need to just run the server and then also stop it once it's things just to initiate through the coding and 
hopefully we'll see it pop up here there you go discord SRV popped up here so now we've got these the config within us that sounded weird um, so now once we uh, open our config with whatever web um, thing you're using I'm using notepad plus plus you want to take the go to your your application take your bot token by clicking to reveal copying this uh, we will need full screen just to get the whole thing on and then putting this here where your bot token says it should be you will then also need to go to your discord server uh, click here and the first number is your discord server ID so you want to do this and then go to here and you will replace that now for your track channel ID it will be the second number which I also need it to be bigger sorry about this sorry about all the switching of screens but there's not much really I can do about it without noting it all down uh, that will go where your chat channel ID goes to this may change if you have different channels so I've cut around you've got general but this should change when you add more channels and if you want the channel to spam essentially spamming your uh, discord thing uh, channel like this you will set the channel ID to be true on your console channel ID but as I don't want that uh, I will leave that blank so let's go back and that should be everything if you wanted to leave everything alone so just for proof of concept essentially let's save that let's stop this run it again with the start.bat let it start up looks good is it the same thing? yeah and we've got a server message saying server started which you can adjust uh, with the commands I'll show you in later and once this is all set up and run which it looks like it might be We should now have our Discord showcase bot saying hello, and then when I, I can even type this in on my phone, just for to show you how it will be used. I can then type in this is my phone, and then that will appear as if I was on my computer, even though I've just done it on my phone. So that is the basic Discord um, S SRV plugin, and it's quite a cool one, quite a simple one as well. But it was a bit confusing to figure out how to set it up, so I decided to do an installation of video as well. However, there is a config which I shall run through now, which we will not need any of this anymore. We could stop this. I think I will not. Um, we can close this. Actually, no, we can't. Go back to plugins, Discord uh, SRV. Let's open it, and then you'll notice that there's all of these settings. The actual annotations with this are actually very good. They are self-explanatory. So if you feel you could be better, just reading through, they were worth it. Just reading through if you wanted to actually go into these. But there's just very simple things like the status. So when you're on Discord, I can show you. Let's like say playing Minecraft because this is set to saying playing Minecraft. You can also these are debugging codes, so it just says leave it alone. Honestly, uh, you got the saying whether you want the Discord to be sent to Minecraft. So if you type in Discord, will it be sent to Minecraft, or will it be uh, will Minecraft message be sent to Discord, and how long? Uh, the max uh, length of a discord message is sent to Minecraft to reduce spam and if you put in like an exclamation mark here then that when they all in discord they'll have to type in exclamation mark and then whatever their message is 
So then they that will be sent to Minecraft. So it allows you to kind of almost blacklist or whitelist stuff that goes through. And if you wanted the colors uh, in chat, so if you're Minecraft chat, then you would have to then these uh, these roles will be allowed to have colors within the thing within your Minecraft chat. You can also tell you it to have that startup message. So when it said start server started, you can also and that's the message it says. And you can put, set that to be false if you didn't want that, and false again, and also adjust the message. And then for these ones, you've got the commands. So the player list, which I shall run through in a sec. Um, and the messages they say, or, or if there's no players in line. And you can also uh, block phrases from Discord so they don't initiate like commands or anything that you might not essentially, essentially want them to do. And also, you can also cut phrases away so they don't send it to everyone or if they're like... If it's a Discord particular phrase, then it won't be just be cut out so it doesn't affect it. it doesn't look strange in a Discord in the actual Minecraft chat. Uh, these ones are just how fast the channel log refreshes and if it's being run through and if people can send stuff like ops, demops, and you, you wouldn't want that. Essentially, generally you can leave this stuff alone, but if you want to go, if you want to look into these in a lot more detail, then I would recommend reading these annotations. As I'm just going to quickly go through what these things do, to the best of my ability, um, from memory, <laughs> and because these go into a lot more detail and they explain things probably better without me sitting here telling you for like 20 minutes or so. And you got all the server console things which I have currently set de um, not to be used as they're kind of a bit spammy. Uh, you've also got the, these are the things you can use within this bit, so all these explaining what they are. So with their username for Discord and with their colour, the closest they can get. Um, how how it format, how they will format, or if they have a name and a role then that will be how they're formatted when they're sent to Minecraft and how that's sent uh, when they don't have a role and when you type in roles when you do use all roles and it's got this separated it's got space line space and their groups and display names when you're going from minecraft to discord uh, you can also set the join and leave messages to have they actually happen or change to them uh, death messages whether you want to um, people who are unsubscribed to your channel whether you want to forward their messages still towards the Minecraft even though they aren't receiving anything or seeing anything from the chat channel uh, you've got the achievement messages the uh, format they're showing in which is quite a cool one and then you have the update systems so yeah that's the discord SRV plugin I hope it helps uh, yeah as I say if you want to look into a lot more detail then the annotations here are actually extremely good um, just the installation process can be a bit confusing I found so that's quite a nice neat plugin has got a lot of capabilities a lot of control for your server and so something I thought about quite a while ago um, I'm like happy I'm happy someone's made it so thank you for watching um, this is me Fresh Wolfie from Wolfie Gaming and I'll see you next time